Even though it's guns and all the niggas I be hanging with I can't save you from drowning if we both stuck on the sinking ship I don't wanna be no plug, that's all they talking about I don't wanna be no thug, that's all they talking about I don't wanna be no hitter, that's all they talking about First and foremost, I want to say Ko Haloyim, La Yahawah, Ba Hashim Yahawah Shah That's to say, all praise to the Heavenly Father In the name of His only begotten Son La Yahawah Shah, alright We are Sakari, you know, Sakari Philly You know, Sakari House of Bread We are out here to inform our people Of what is coming, you know what I'm saying That's why we are out here every day, day in, uh, week in, week out To warn our people you know, to start, to start partaking, in, to, to start partaking in, uh, in this, in this abomination. Basically, I'm just going to silver back uh, of uh, what, uh, what she talk. Go it out, all right? Uh, let me get uh, Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah 10. Uh, Book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 1. Yeah. Hear ye the word which Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Right, so Yahweh speaketh to the house of Israel, not nobody else, right? Not, not these disgusting heathens, right? Read. Verse 2. Thus saith Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen. We're not supposed to be learning the way of these heathens, right? These heathens want to wanna sacrifice the cornucopia. Let them do that. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to, uh, to, be, to be partaking in there. All right. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Just look at this. You know what I'm saying? They got decorations. You know what I'm saying? Stars and what what not. Uh, Christmas themes. We still we still in November, right? I thought it's supposed to be uh, Thanksgiving. Right. But they got Christmas themes and all that. And Jack is dismayed at that. You know what I'm saying? Don't be dismayed at these things. Right. These are these things are for the heathen, right? Come. Read. Come. Be not dismayed at them. Verse 3. For the customs of the people are vain. Right. It's all vanity, right? Bring that out, bro. Come. It's the book of Amos, chapter 5, and verse 21. I hate. I despise your feast days. Oh, Sai Yahweh hates and despises these feast days. Y'all want to be partaking in these heathen customs, the most I hate you too for right. doing that. All right? Read. And I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. The most I does not, does not take delight in your in your, in your uh, heathen uh, assembly, right? The most I does not delight in that. Continue. Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Right, because... Y'all are offering these, these, these sacrifices to idols. You're not offering these, these sacrifices to, uh, to the Most High God. The Most High God does, does, Most High God does not want these, these things. God. He does not want your dwelling amongst the heathen, the heathens, and, and partaking in their, in their, uh, in their feasts. Uh, maybe, uh, Proverbs, uh, I will not accept them, neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Right. So the Most High is not gonna is not gonna regard anything that you're that you're trying to do for uh, for him because you're in, in uh, you're exercising iniquity. All right. So read that, brother. Come. This is the Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter one and verse fourteen. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun. Right. And behold. All is vanity. Right. All these all these are are feasts are vanity, right? The Mossad does not does that doesn't want that, you know what I'm saying? That he does not want that for our people. Our pe you know what I'm saying? The Mossad wants our people to serve him and him alone. But y'all wanna be celebrating Christmas, you know, which is a which is uh which is a feast uh, for Tammuz, alright? 
Y'all wanna be celebrating on Thanksgiving, a feast of the Greek god Cornucopia, all right? Y'all wanna be celebrating Easter, another feast for Ta'a, uh, for Ta'a Musa and, and, and uh, his wicked uh, wife, uh, uh, Semiramis, all right? So the Mosad does not delight in none of these things. Right. Read. God, it is all vanity and vexation of spirit. Right, these things Fix our spirit. Ah. If you are, if you call, if you are here calling yourself man of God, you should be vex, you should be vexed by these things. Uh, these, these things that 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 uh, that this this society is perpetuating, right? Me, I'm vexed every single day. I wake up, my bones are aching. How does my bone? How does your bones ache? These things vex me to the core. That's what. That, that, that's that's the best one I'm trying to. Trying to, uh, trying to set, set here, all right? Uh, bring up the select. Oh my God, you got preset, bring it up. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 20 and verse 32. And that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all, that ye say, we shall be as the heathen. Right, y'all wanna be like the heathen so much, right? Y'all wanna be like the heathen so much celebrating all these things, getting down with them, you know what I'm saying? Right. Showing up at Christmas parties, Thanksgiving uh, celebrations, you know what I'm saying? Working with these disgusting Elamites and, and Ishmaelites, all right? Y'all y'all finished out here for real, for real. Right. All right? Right. Hey sisters. Do y'all know your uh, your Israelites? Hey sisters, come here real quick. Let me talk to you. See, our people don't even regard regard uh, their own people, man. They don't even have time, a slight second for uh, to, to to hear the, uh, their people out. All right, this is exactly why the Mosai is gonna destroy two thirds of them. All right. That's right. Come, just uh, one twenty-six. It's book of James, chapter one and verse twenty-six. Come. If any man among you seem to be religious, right? If y'all if y'all calling yourselves so-called believers, right? Read. And bridleth not his tongue. And you don't control your uh, control, you don't control your tongue. All right. Read. But deceiveth his own heart. You're deceiving yourself. All right. If you are here calling yourself a man of God, you know, a believer of of Christ, but you out here, you know, what I'm saying, following after the heathen, you know, you're deceiving yourself basically because you, you're lying, man. You lying to yourself first and foremost, because the Mosad does not does not delight in none of these none of, none of these pagan customs. All right. This man's religion is vain. Right, it's vain. All right. You be, you know, say you believe you claiming to believe in, in, in God, and then go, uh, uh, Thanksgiving comes around, you the first person at the table. How does that? How does that look to, to, uh, to the Most High God? Bring that out. It looks vain. All right. Your worship is in vain, and the Most High does not listen to you. Bring, bring out John, uh, John nine and 20, uh, 31. Papa, real quick. Because verse thirty-one. Because y'all how you think, uh, thinking the Most High is playing with y'all? The Most High is about to destroy this world with you in it. Right. All right. Right. And if you don't, if you don't change, if you don't turn back fast. You're gonna be caught up in it. Uh, All right. Uh, Read. Come. This is the book of John, chapter 9 and verse 31. Bring it out. Then we know that the most high heareth not, not sinners. sinners. Right. The most high is not hearing you. No matter how much how, how much you pray, how much how loud you raise your voice to, to pray to the most high God. You out here celebrating Christmas. You out here, you know, partaking in, in any of these uh pagan feasts. The most high is not hearing you. It's right. All right. But if any man be a worshiper of the Most High and doeth his will, him he hears. Right, exactly. But y'all, y'all, y'all here, you know what I'm saying? Don't want to worship God, you know what I'm saying? Y'all claim you're worshiping God, but y'all really worshiping these 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 hidden gods, right? Following after your going after after the, uh, the imagination of your of your own heart, but let's. Let's let's find out what uh, what God says about about that wicked heart of yours. 
I'll bring out Jeremiah, Jeremiah 17 and 10. All right, 17 and 9. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 9. Uh, the heart is deceitful. The heart is what? Deceitful. See, Above all things. Their heart is deceitful above all things. Read. And desperately wicked. Desperately wicked. All y'all out here following your heart, you're wicked as hell. Man. Right. Uh, they, uh, Galatians uh, 6 and 3, Paul Michelle. That can't continue on it. Uh, who can know it? Right. Who can know it? Only only Yahweh knows, knows your heart, you know what I'm saying? And he's saying it's wicked as all hell. Read. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 6 and verse 3. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. Oh, I'm a man of God. But you at the table, but you at the table, uh, you at the Christmas table. You at the uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Thanksgiving table, right? You're nothing for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? The most I say, you are absolutely nothing. All right? And you want to, since you want to be. Like these heathens, the most I say these these heathens are less than nothing. If you want to follow after them, you are just like them, less than nothing. Read. Okay. So Priest said, this is the book of uh, 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2 and verse 11. Bring it out. And for this cause, the most high sent them strong delusion. Right, you are strongly deluded if you think you're serving the most high God what what what, what eating uh, a piece of ham on Thanksgiving. Alright? Uh, bring, bring, uh, bring, uh, uh, Galatians, uh, six and seven. It's the book of Galatians, chapter six and verse seven. Uh -huh. Be not deceived. Right. God is not mocked. Right. Most high is not my free. For whatsoever a man soweth, right, that he shall also reap. You out here celebrating Christmas, you know what I'm saying? You are you are here cele uh, celebrating the uh, Thanksgiving, the death of our the death of our brothers and sisters. Huh. The most high is gonna kill you too. Now let's see how you're gonna feel about that. Now let's see how your family gonna feel about oh my my, my poor child was innocent. He was so good to society. He was he was out here upholding, you know what I'm saying, the standards of you uh, you know what I'm saying of humanity. You are not doing none of that thing. Not none of that, you know what I'm saying? You're not doing what God what what God what God uh, ordained you to do, but you are going against the most high God's word and the most high is gonna kill you. Right. All right. Read. Con, this, con, this is the book of Amos, chapter 9 and verse 10. All the sinners of my people. Right. Shall die by the sword. You're gonna die by the sword. And what, what sword is that? Thermonuclear fire. Alright? You're gonna die in this in this life. If you die in your iniquity, you are still gonna wake up and catch that and catch that nuclear fire. First thing smoky, alright? Read. We say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Right. That's 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 what goes on in your uh, in the imagination of your heart, right? Which is your mind, right? You think the uh, the evil is not gonna is not gonna prevent you or overtake you, but the but the Mosiah says says different. So who are we supposed to believe? You, your imagination. Okay, with that, come read your precept, Bob. God, this is the book of Tobit, chapter twelve and verse ten. Uh -huh. But they that sin are enemies to their own life. Exactly. If you sin, if you are here sinning, you sin against your own spirit, and the Most High is gonna destroy that spirit. All right. The Most High, is, the Most High has the power to destroy spirits. So if you out here doing doing whatever you whatever you want to do, you gonna feel that flame, right? Uh, let me get uh, Ecclesiastes 44. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 
In verse 4, uh -huh. again, I considered all travail and every right work. For this is a man is envy of his neighbor. Right. This is also vanity and vexation of spirit. Right, exactly. That's like that's like the uh that's like uh Ecclesiastes uh, 1 and 14. Everything everything man man does, you know what I'm saying? If it's not according to the to, to that say Yahweh, it's vanity, you know what I'm saying, and vexation of spirit. Alright? How you doing, brother? You got some time real quick? Come, come here real quick. Let me highlight you real quick. One one minute. Alright, so uh bring, bring that out, bro. God, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in Yahweh with all the heart. Right. And lean not unto thy own understanding. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you people lean on your own understanding and put Yahweh's uh, you know what I'm saying, word to the background, right? That's what God says, you know what I'm saying? He does not delight in your feast days, you know, and he's gonna kill, and he's gonna kill two thirds of you. And with that, I hope brothers and sisters was, uh, was edified. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna walk my ball. We are kings and priests, I gotta shine when I maneuver. We be in the streets, y'all niggas hide behind computers. We trying to escape the parable of sour grapes, so if you wanna keep his grace, you better seek your house face.